So Bethesda's press conference just happened, and here are my thoughts. Welcome to Press X. They opened the show with Doom. This game looked incredible. This was the game that I was most excited for, and I knew it would be there, and it looked just like the classic Doom, updated to today's standards. It was incredibly bloody, almost to the level of Mortal Kombat with guns, and incredibly satisfying looking. They had a range of weapons shown off, from plasma rifle, assault rifle, double barrel shotgun, things of that nature. They brought out the classic chainsaw. Uh, this is an iconic weapon from the classic Doom, and they're mowing down enemies. There's tons of brutal melees in the game, it seems like, and we did see the same animation a couple times with the melees, but it seems like you can almost, depending on where you melee them from, it does a different animation. So you can take them out at the leg, you can go through their skull and rip it in half, just crazy Mortal Kombat type stuff. Uh, they showed off a chunk of the single player, player to start out with, and then they moved on to the multiplayer. Uh, the multiplayer looks great. It looks exactly what I want. They have, it's arena, it seems like arena combat, very fast paced, very quick. Um, they had demons and humans with jetpacks flying around, just craziness. And then to me, what was the biggest reveal of the Doom stuff was the Doom Snap Map. It is a create your own experience. Uh, they showed off people, almost like Halo's Forge. They showed off people that created game modes, but not just, you know, different variants of deathmatch like zombies. They were creating competitive modes and they were creating cooperation modes, such as horde mode. It was really interesting. It seems like they said it was really easy to use, but they always say that. They say using logic, you can create whatever you want, basically. And all that's really exciting to me. Um, if I got the game, I'd definitely dabble with it and play a whole bunch of other people's creations because I love that stuff. I love user-created content that's solid. And it seems like they're giving the engine to all of the uh, different platforms to be able to create whatever you want. So that's super exciting. And they moved on to Battle Cry. Uh, they didn't focus on it too much. They didn't really even show that much. They showed the classes. It's very Team Fortress 2 style looking, cartoonish, but still bloody. Um, it's a third person action game and that's really all we learned about it. It's in, it's going into beta and you can sign up to be in the closed beta and then they kind of got off the stage. So that was about it. Uh, Arcane Studios came out and they're behind the Dishonored series and we heard leaks yesterday uh, through Twitch that Dishonored 2 was coming. They showed a trailer and lo and behold, it's Dishonored 2. Uh, you can play as a new Assassin Emily or you, you can play as your male assassin. Um, it seems really neat, much more stylized than the last Dishonored, which was had more of a realistic look. This had a very stylized look. It almost reminded me of how the Disney Infinity figures are all that same style. It, it was similar to that. Um, they said that you can play through the whole game with stealth, or you can go in, you know, guns blazing, play through the whole game with combat, very, very similar to the original Dishonored. And then speaking of the original Dishonored, they are re-releasing it, and it's coming out this fall, Dishonored Definitive Edition. Uh, they also revealed an iPhone game. It's a Fallout mobile game, very similar to The Sims. Uh, you manage your own Fallout shelter. You have to keep track of all the people. You, you know, make babies. You have new children. You raise this shelter from zero to hero. You build it up, and they showed a huge expansive, expansive uh, shelter that somebody was maintaining. Very resource management heavy. Very cool. Uh, and it's free for iPhone tonight. They only talked about iPhone. I noticed that. They also only talked about iPad. Um, so that was a little alarming to me. I don't know. It'll probably come to Android later. And speaking of the iPhone, uh, they also announced that the collector's edition of Fallout 4 comes with a working Pip-Boy that um, you can slide your phone into and download an app. And it is a companion app for the game. Then they came out, they talked about Elder Scrolls Online. Uh, it's a new expansion, I imagine. I'm not familiar with this game at all, um, so I don't have too much to say. It seems like a basic expansion, though, new areas to explore, things of that nature. So if you play Elder Scrolls Online, I'm sure that excited you. Um, and then they had an Elder Scrolls card game that was announced. 
So picture Elder Scrolls meets Hearthstone, I would imagine. Uh, so that's pretty exciting. They said PC and iPad only, which was interesting to me, but that's probably one of those things that they'll expand to more platforms once they launch. Uh, very similar to Elder Scrolls Online. Then they came out and they talked about Fallout 4. It's what everybody wanted. It's what everybody expected. Uh, Fallout 4 was shown with concept art kicking it off. Uh, they showed off this create a character, which is a very in-depth create a character that just has to do with pointing and clicking what you want to change and changing whatever you want. Uh, then they showed that you create the male and female and they create a baby based off of what you made them look like. You can play as either of them. Really cool stuff. Uh, one, of the, one of the more awesome things that they showed to me, I thought that was really exciting. And they showed a little bit of gameplay. They showed that you're playing before the disaster and then leading up to the disaster and then 200 years after when you actually leave the vault. And I, I really like games that give you some sort of context like that. And I, I think that's actually very exciting that they're doing that this time. They showed off kind of a montage of all these different environments ranging from almost desert, cloudy, dark and brown, very similar to Fallout 3's environments, to happy skies, blue skies, and not comforting, but much more, you know, what we see outside in present day. So that was really cool. They were just showing off a different variety, showing that there's going to be variety in the game. Uh, the combat looks very similar to Fallout 3's combat, but they have a scavenger type uh, population where you can almost interact with everything in the game and use it to create new stuff for this, uh, use it to create new stuff to build buildings, to build a fort, a base, and it's all real time, very Minecraft-like. You pick up all these different items, you craft them together, you put a door here, you put a bridge here, you put a generator that links to a power line, that links to turrets, and it, it seems really awesome. Another one of the super exciting things that I think they showed off, I was very, very interested in uh, playing with this particular mode. Um, then they showed a another montage of goofy combat, so that was pretty exciting. They, like I said, very similar to Fallout 3's combat, and they showed off, I said the word goofy, and I think that's a great way to describe it. They showed off that the game's not trying to take itself super seriously. Very similar to Doom, it knows it can be a little bit over the top, and it's not completely grounded. And I'm glad that they showed that off and got that out of the way. And then they made the announcement that myself and I'm sure many others were predicting, and that's that the game is coming out this year, November 10th, uh, 2015. So that's super exciting. You can pick it up later this year, and it's going to be competing in the time slot with Assassin's Creed, Call of Duty, games of that nature. Um, I think we might see a few delays or movements to get out of the way of this game. This is a huge game. So overall, Fallout 4 really started to grab my attention. I'm still not sold on it, as I told you in the videos before. I'm not a giant Fallout fan, but this definitely caught my interest. 